Hi, everyone. Um, I'm John Nieves, as well as Seth here. We are NewsNet. Uh, not with us today are Antima and Jason here in Spirit, of course. Uh, they helped us build this application. So what is NewsNet? NewsNet is a way to save and organize your articles offline. So basically a scraper that goes out there and pulls everything down for you. A um, couple of key features, trending articles, a Chrome extension, as well as you know, obviously being able to discuss whatever articles you've then added and organized. So some of the technologies that we utilize to build this, um, there's, we use an API, readability to help us scrape, which we extend. Um, there's the MongoDB, just to store everything. Um, IndexedDB, which is our client-side database, as well as service workers and Angular material to make it look pretty. So I'm gonna turn it over to Seth to demo the application. Um, so we're going to start by logging in. You can either use OAuth or an account on our site. Um, one really cool feature is the ability to add to the home screen. And this makes it act like a native app in terms of you have an icon on your screen, uh, it opens up with a splash screen, and it's in a full screen view. Uh, keep in mind, this is still just a website. Um, we're going to go ahead and add an article. You can optionally add this to a folder or a publicly available subscription. And anything you add is going to show up in your collections. And these are saved for offline use. Uh, now you'll notice everything's in a mobile-friendly, easy-to-read format. And when we go into airplane mode, in just a second, you'll see your articles are still there. So here's one. And let's try another. Uh, comments are also a very key part of our platform. Uh, so you can post, uh, vote up or down on comments, as well as edit or delete your own. You can even post a comment while offline, and it will resolve when you reconnect to the internet. Um, the easiest way on desktop to add an article to our site is with the Chrome extension. You simply go to the article you want, uh, click on the icon in the top right corner, and uh, the article will show up in collections. Uh, now let's explain how this all works. Once you send a URL to our server, uh, we hit the readability API, which responds with some very useful information. Uh, the title, author, and body content, etc. We take some of this useful information, as well as collect some of our own, like the popularity of an article with our users, and store this in the database. Uh, now John's going to tell us more about how we cache these articles offline using service workers. Stuff. So service workers, uh, I'm sure you've all heard of them lately. Uh, basically the keystone of a progressive web application. Uh, essentially what's happening here is the web browser is making a request to the service worker which intercepts all the various requests and then turns it over to either an HTTP cache or the internet depending on the strategy that you utilize, whichever comes first. There is a basic life cycle to this. When you are first going to the website, it will install. And so basically you configure what assets are going to be cached first. Once it's done installing, it'll go into an activating state. At that point, you will, it will either clear out old cache or update the current assets, etc. cetera. Um, once it is fully activated, it will go into this event request loop. So it'll wait for events to come through and then feed into what is an express-like API. In this case, we utilize a library by Google called SW Toolbox, which will basically allows for us to set up all of these express routes that which then feed into the service worker, which then goes over to a normal REST API. Um, so that is our application in a nutshell. Uh, thank you for listening. Any questions?